hello friends welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome my name is Sansa Fon, and if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe to help this channel grow and if you're all member you're welcome back thank you for coming back to my channel today i'm going to show you on how to wash a skirt step by step so if you want to know how i'll be going about it keep on watching first thing i will do is to go ahead now to draw a guideline which is my waist line the next thing I'll do is to go ahead to measure from the waist to the hip deep line which is 8 inch and mark that up. Measure from the waist to the length of the skirt which is 22 inch and mark it up. After marking it up I'll go ahead to connect that with a straight line. I'm going to do the same thing here at this downer part. After doing so, the next thing I will do now is to go ahead and put my waist measurement. But before I do so, I will go ahead to level it up the waistline, the hip deep line and the length of the skirt. Now, I will go ahead now divide my waist by 4. So around my waist is 26. 26 divided by 4 will give me 6 and a half. Then I will add half an inch. I will move down here to the hip deep line. I will put one quarter of my hip divided by 4 which mine is 37. 37 divided by 4. Will give me 9.025 adding half inch will give me 9.075 then i'll just measure whatever i have here from the hip deep line i'm going to add it up i will minus one inch from there so 9.075 minus one inch will give me uh 8.075 i'll connect that up like this then i'm gonna do the same thing to this top part here After connecting it, I'll just go ahead to blend it up, okay? Now, I'll go ahead to cut that up. After cutting, the next thing I'll do now is to go ahead and make another pattern for the back. I just cut another pattern seam for the back. Then, I'll go ahead now to put the nipple to nipple measurement. So, my is 7, 7 inch divided by 2 will give me 3 and a half and out half inch for the joining allowance like so then after drawing that nipple to nipple line I'll just go ahead now I'll come at this downer part that's to measure from the waist to where I want my slip to start from you can go ahead to measure your desired length okay now after coming down by 11 inch I'll go ahead now take my calf roller I'm just going to place it up like this okay and connect that up like so and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side depending on how open you want it to be me I just want mine to be slightly open like so then after doing so I'll just go ahead to cut that up Once I'm done cutting, the next thing I'll just do now is to go ahead. I'm going to be marking 2-2 two, two inch each downward like this to mark that up. After marking it up, I'll go ahead to draw a line. Then after drawing it, we're going to splash and spray it. After drawing the straight line, the next thing I'll do is to go ahead to number them up from number 1 to 6. Then we're going to be cutting that up like so. Make sure when you're cutting it up, you don't cut everything up. Leave a little bit to hold your pattern. I'm going to do the same thing to the other piece. Now the next thing I did was to go ahead and place it on my fabric. Remember my fabric, this fabric here, the front fabric is not folded into two. I'll just go ahead and pin it on top. Once I'm done pinning it on top, the first one I'm going to spray it up by one inch and hold that up. And the second one, I'll go ahead and spray it up by one and a half inch. For the two last one, I'll go ahead to spray it up by two inch and mark that up, okay? 
and do the same thing here this top part i'll spray it up by two inch and mark that up then later on we'll just go ahead after spraying it up i'll go ahead now to cut that up i added some allowance we take note i added some about half inch i'll do the same thing to the other piece then for the back piece i'll just kind of place my fabric on fold and i'm going to cut that up cut my straps two straps I have my waistband right here which is two inch and I have my two straps then the back piece that is cut on fold all right then I have the two front piece I'll just go ahead to remove those pattern on top then what I did was to notch where the slip start from and we know start pinning it from there upward like this Once I'm done pinning it, it will look like something like this, okay? See? Then the next thing I'll do is to pick the back piece. I'll be joining one side with the skirt. Just one side, okay? We'll be creating the, the strap casing before we go ahead to close the other side. This is going to be much easier, okay? I'll join it up like this. now for my strap what i'm going to do i'll fold it up like this i'm going to stitch okay then for my waistband i'll just go ahead to i'll just go ahead and join it up like this all right i'll take it and stitch it up Once I'm done stitching it, I went ahead to turn up the straps, the two straps for it. Then now, and I and also stitch the three sides cut. So you can see I stitch here. That's the two sides, sorry. I stitch here. Then, and I also went ahead to press that up. Now we're going to be creating up a casing for this. I'll just go ahead to pin it up like this at the center. Like this right on top of that line that we join it okay like this then i'll pin that up once i'm done pinning it up i'm going to take it to my machine i will stitch it up at the downer part I'll, as well i'm going to go ahead to fold it up and then later on i'll hem this up here like this with the hemming gum all right I'm just going to fold this edge here like this fold it inside then i'll go ahead and pin that up then we'll take it to the machine i'm going to stitch here stitch at the center just to create the casing for the strap look at what i'm doing right there I'm done stitching the two sides. I'll go ahead and separate it up at the center. After stitching, this is what it looks like. So you can see I have one, two, three. This is what it looks like at the back side. Now we'll go ahead now to close the other side of the skirt. Once I'm done closing that up, the next thing I will do is to go ahead now to add my straps to it like this. Take your safety pin and pin up your strap. Then you put it inside like this all the way to the top part. So I've already put one side. I'm going to go ahead and put the other side of the straps as well. So you get to the top part of the skirt. Okay? To the waist. All right? After uh, adding it to it, look at this is what is the skirt is looking like. I'll just go ahead now, fold in my, that's to first of all notch the waistband. Then I'll fold it into two like this. I'm just going to fold it up like this. I'm going to be joining up the waistband to the skirt. And pin that up. I'll do the same thing here, this other side. 
and I'm going to go ahead and pin. Now continue pinning to I get to the other side all the way around. Once I'm done pinning, the next thing I will do now is to go ahead. I'll be hemming this downer part with the. I'll be placing my hemming gum inside like this, and I'm going to press it up with uh, a steam iron. Okay, so that will be able to cover up these edges here. Then I'm going to put it on to show you what it look like on me this is what the skirt look like on me i really love the way it came out so i'm going to be pulling these straps up here like this to make it ruched right there so let me know what you think about this tutorial if it was helpful to you give me a thumbs up like comment and share with your friends and don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified each and every time I upload a new tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you on my next DIY. Bye-bye.